Fellas, next week is UFC 300, and I don't want to spend the entirety of fight week complaining about the card, so I'm going to get it out of the way. Everything that's wrong with UFC 300, the things that I personally don't like about the card, and the fact that, and the things that people online haven't liked about the card, and just everything wrong with what is supposed to be one of the greatest cards of all time. Let me know your least favorite part about the card and what frustrates you the most about this card. Um, but yeah, starting off with the first thing, the first worst thing about UFC 300, and it is the bout order. I think the bout order for UFC 300 is horrible. Now, before we address the elephant in the room, which is Bo Nickel being on the main card, let's even start off with the early prelims. Why is Davis and Figueredo and Cody Garbrandt like opening up the early prelims? That's going to be one of the best fights on the entire card. Starting off the, you know, the early prelims, you've got two former champions who are going to be in a banger of a fight, coming off wins as well. And the winner of this fight is most likely going to be pushed into the title contention of the Bantamweight division. Why is this fight the first fight on the early prelims? It makes no sense. And fair enough if the UFC, you know, want to kick off UFC 300 with a bang. But really, that's one of the best fights on the card. I'd, I'd argue that that could even make it to the main card. You've got two, you know, former champions. It's going to be a banger of a fight, in my opinion. They should have just got Marina Rodriguez and Andrade out the way immediately. Um, I don't know why that's so high up on the card. Why is that fight above Bobby Green versus Jim Miller as well? It makes no sense. Um, but yeah, I think the, the early prelims, first of all, uh, I don't understand why they've done Andrade versus Rodriguez so high up on the card in the early prelims. And then Davis and Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt opening up the card. Um, yeah, I think that was horrible because Cody Garbrandt versus Figueredo is one of the best fights on it. And then even Holly Holm and Kayla Harrison being on the prelims, that is an early prelims fight. Like, I'd rather watch Jim Miller and Bobby Green than Holly Holm. I wouldn't even want to watch Holly Holm for another Fight Night main event. So that's the prelims done. And then obviously, Bo Nickel being on the main card. I don't know who decided that was a good idea. Why is Bo Nickel on the main card? He's had two fights in the UFC and he's on the main card. I know he had two uh, contender series fights as well. His last fight was against Val Woodburn, a gardener who came into the UFC on short notice. And even in his last fight against Auburn Elliott, he lost. Why is Bo Nickel facing uh, Cody Brundage on UFC 300 on the main card? It makes genuinely no sense. A guy with two fights in two fights in the UFC. I understand he's trying to push him, but this is too far. On the biggest card ever, on the main card, above Yuri Prohaska, a guy, a guy who just fought for the belt. Sterling, a guy who's just fought for the belt. There's so many bangers on this, on this, you know, on the prelims that should be above Bornickel. Bornickel versus Cody Brundage. Why don't you start the like the early prelims off with that? Like genuinely, it's probably going to be a fun fight. It's probably going to, you know, Bornickel is probably going to finish Cody Brundage quickly. It's a good way to start off the early prelims. Why isn't that the early prelim opener? Why is that on the main card? It makes no sense. That's my first bit of frustration for this card. And it's the, um, yeah, the bout order. I heavily disagree with the bout order and whoever designed that um, because it just makes no sense. The next little rant, I mean, I'm not too bothered about this, but it's the poster. The UFC 300 poster is so bad. Like, who designed, who decided this poster was a good idea? You've got the greatest card of all time. The promo for this card has been great as well. We've seen the clips that they've been making online. And to, you know, to represent it, you've got a terrible poster. Genuinely just a yellow background with the words UFC 300 in the middle. There's no fighters on the poster. There's no insane cinematics. It's genuinely just a dull poster to represent this card. Even UFC 100 and 200 had better posters than this. And that was ages ago when the quality would... Do, like, the, the capability that the UFC have to make this an insane poster is horrible. I'm not going to go on for too long because at the end of the day, it's a poster. But yeah, it's disappointing. And I hope this isn't the final product and they come up with something better because that is an impressive poster if I've ever seen one. Next thing we've got is the overhyped main event. Now, listen, I'm not a hater of Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira. In fact, that's probably one of the funnest title fights you can make. You've got Jamal Hill, a knockout artist, coming back against Alex Pereira, who we all know to be one of the funnest fighters in the UFC. But the way that the UFC were hyping up UFC 300, I was expecting to see like GSP versus Khabib or just McGregor and Chandler or just some insane super fight in the UFC. And they've hit us with Jamal Hill and Alex Pereira. Now, I understand this wasn't their first choice, but you could tell they were struggling. Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira could have genuinely headlined any pay-per-view. That could have been 301, 302. That could have genuinely headlined any pay-per-view. It's got I, I don't see the uniqueness of the main event for UFC 300. We haven't even got a single like mega fight on this card, like a Habib and a Magomedov versus a GSP or anything like that. So the overhyped main event definitely ruined it. And then I know they tried to get Leon Edwards versus Shavkat or Islam. Uh, if Leon Edwards versus Islam fell through, I'd have been happy. That's a super fight. We don't get to see fights like that often. 
happen. But imagine we got like even a Leon Edwards versus a Shavkat or a Leon Edwards versus a Hamzat Chemaev. I, I don't even know if that's like main event 300 worthy. But Hill versus Pereira, that genuinely could have been for any card. I don't mind the fight. I think it's going to be a fun fight, but super fight worthy. No. So the fact that we could have got a better main event, that definitely lets the card down a little bit. Next thing I'm going to rant about is the press conference and the build-up. Now, I understand we're here to watch fights. We're not here to watch people sit in a press conference. That's not the main thing we're here for. We're here to watch the fights. But I can't help but think that the press conference for this pay-per-view is going to be so dull. Like, genuinely, look at the fighters on the main card. We've got Pereira and Hill. Hill's not going to be trash-talking to Pereira because Pereira genuinely doesn't say anything, and he's not even English. So there's going to be nothing in the main event. Zhang Wili versus Zhang Zhaonan, neither of them would ever trash-talk, and they don't, they don't even speak English anyway, so there's going to be nothing from them. Gaethje and Holloway, they're both on a speed run to CTE. I don't even know if they can still speak English. I think their brains are so mushed that they have nothing to say anymore, and they're not even going to trash-talk. We saw them at the UFC 300 um, press conference, like the, the built the promotion press conference like two months ago they didn't trash talk then they like each other charles Oliveira and armand sarukian again Oliveira doesn't even speak english sarukian would never trash talk and then bo nickel and cody brundage aren't even going to say anything so the, the press conference i can't help but think is going to be so dull and it's a shame because for one of the biggest cards of all time You'd think you want at least one fighter who's going to rile up the, you know, rile up the crowd. You know, maybe it was a Colby Covington or, I don't know, just genuinely any fight between two fighters that, you know, maybe could have a little bit of animosity animosity towards each other. But listen, I know the fight's going to be amazing, but I can't help but think that the build-up, there's genuinely no... I, I'm not going to... I don't like it when fighters fake kind of beef or fake hating each other for for the cameras or anything but yeah i just feel like the build-up is going to be quite bad there's a lot of language barriers so we're going to be hearing a lot of translations at the press conference and that's another rant about this card um and then the final thing i've got to say about this card is they've definitely got an interesting choice of female fights I'm not the biggest fan of, feet of of women MMA, and I don't think anyone else is. And there's definitely been a lot of people that were mad of the female fights that got chosen for UFC 300. And to be honest, I am too. Jessica Andrade versus Marina Rodriguez. Stick it on like a fight night core main event or something like that. Why is that on UFC 300? That fight has no room to be on UFC 300. And again, like I said before, if you are going to put it on UFC 300, put it as like the early prelims opener. Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison. Fair play, you want to bring someone from PFL over to the UFC. You know, you want to add someone to your roster. But Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison. 40-year-old Holly Holm versus an overweight Kayla Harrison. That's your female super fight done for the card. Of all the fights you could have chosen, that, that you didn't choose any. Even Erin Blanksfield versus Fura. I know that fight just happened and it was boring. But even that would have been way more hype than Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison on this card. And then Zhang Wili versus Yang Zhaonan. Listen, I'm not going to... I'm actually a fan of Zhang Wili. She's one of the few female fighters that I actually enjoy watching, but it could have been like a Zhang Wili versus an Alexa Grasso. Imagine that, like two champions facing each other, a super fight for the females. And then we've got Zhang Wili versus Yang Zhanan. Imagine like we had Alexa Grasso versus Shevchenko again on this card. I just feel like the, the, the female fights that they have chosen is quite disappointing. And for that reason, when they announced it, there was just, you know, MMA fans going berserk. But yeah, UFC 300, it's a great card, but it's there's definitely a lot of flaws within the card, which I've just announced. Let me know what your least favorite part about this card is and, you know, what you would personally change around this card. But yeah, thank you for watching.